Okay, welcome to the session with Typo3. Um, in this session, we're going to be looking at the news extension for the Typo3 CMS. And what the uh, what's known as TT News for those who have actually installed it, because that's the kind of the extension name. What it does is it extends Typo3 with a news article system that creates uh, news listings with automatic archiving and in the back end and in the front end on the, on the web pages and allows you to create pages that show news listings and show the archives and allows you to view articles by categories that have been assigned um, by the article editors as well as searching the, the news articles for keywords and, and things like that. So it's a fairly extensive extension to Typo3. There's a lot you can do with it. In the site that we're looking at it's been extended again on top of TT News has been the, the blogging extension, um, but the core of TT News is still really what we're going to be looking at and, and what's what kind of makes it all up. So we're going to flip over to our, our demo site that we've been working with and have a look through the, the way it's been implemented on this site. And then we'll be looking at the back end of the site to, to show you how it's been configured there as well. Okay, so on our, our demo site here, you can see on the home page is the actual news listing and it's been set up somewhat in a blog format with uh, the date of when it was posted, um, some teaser text, the news article um, titles and then of course the, the link to read more and here you can see a, a video that's been embedded as well and so you, any one of these when you click on the title or on read more what it does is it takes you to what's known as a single view or the actual article view and here you can see the the article text and again it's just some dummy text because this was a site for development and actually for demoing here as well and below is is a slightly configured but not totally configured um, uh, commenting system below and uh, as well when we go back to our home page we can see um, the categories so depending on which category you choose it will it will only show you the, the posts or the news articles that have been tagged in that category down here at the bottom as you can see. As well at the bottom of the page we have the archives and these are this has been set up to archive uh, monthly and the system is configured to show you how many items are in each of the months. So here's uh, September with two items and then when we get here we can see those two items on the page. So the, the system is fairly, um, pretty much completely implemented here. What, what we don't have is just the search functionality on this site. So we won't be able to show you that, but what we will show you is the actual um, back end now and how it's been configured on the, in the back end and what it looks like to go there. So we're going to flip over over here to our back end. As you can see, the, uh, we're, we're back where we were in, in some of our previous videos where we were working on the About page. But when we go to the Home page for the site, in the Page Tool view, what we can see here, highlighted here, is that we have a plugin installed in the main content area for the page, Plugin News, displaying in List mode. And then over on the right column, you can see that we have the plugin TT News displaying cat menu or the category menu so that allowed us to see the different categories that were um, news items were assigned and be able to just look at those specific listing of items or articles that have been assigned to specific categories okay um, as well you can see here in the page tree that we have the single item page and this has the the, um, the plug-in with the display single and then we have the guest book um, or commenting system that is uh, configured below that. But the main thing is that we have a page that displays the single view or the actual article view. And then we have an archive view which displays the, um, the news items in a list view but specific to a, a time period. The other thing that we do in the back end is we set up a specific system folder to hold the news articles or the news items and in this case um, we call them blog posts because it was set up as a blog 
and you'll notice that when I click on blog posts and we go up here we'll see that the actual um, view of the blog post page tells me that it uh, has to be shown in list view so we're going to just click on that to sh shift to the list, list view here in the list view you can see all the different articles that were have been created on the site and again if you've been working with tip through a while you'll recognize our pencil icon where it allows us to edit a post so if we click in here to edit the record you get an idea of what the form looks like um, title um, you have author and email as well there's a subheader the main body text for the site for the article sorry not for the site as well as the relations of what the uh, news item belongs to as far as categories go and then there's of course some other things here as well that we'll look at later as far as links and related news items that you can add to the current article that you're working on and um, the one last thing that I'll show you as far as the um, the back end and the things that are related to the news system are the news categories. These are generally um, in the, the general storage page or the general system folder. Um, GRSP is, may also be known on your site depending on how it's been configured, but it's where the actual news categories. To add a new news category, um, you can click the new record within the news category table listing here, or you can also go up here to create new record and then create a new news category from there as well. Either way will allow you to add a new category that can be assigned and used to organize your news items. So that's the basic kind of quick and dirty kind of look at the news system in Typo 3 and how it is generally configured in the back end and how it uh, can be customized here in the front end as well. Um, I'll be doing some of the future ones where we go into actually adding news items, ca adding categories, and um, even then adding embedding videos in your news articles.